we have discussed a lot about functions now i think it's time to look at our most used statements in programming that are printf and scanf they are also functions and even they have a written value let's check out the strange behavior of printf and scanf functions now input and output let's try to understand input and output scanf and printf are the two things which are used for input and output if you just observe carefully a function call is made like this a function name will be written followed by the arguments and printf and scanf are also the function calls where printf and scanf are the names of the functions respectively and this control string and this variables are the arguments as every function returns a value except it is void the printf and scanf also has the return type printf actually returns the length of the output word suppose for example a is 12 then the printf of this line will return 2 if the value of a is 1 2 3 4 then it actually returns 4 similarly scanf returns number of words that are read successfully if this has read 55 and it has read only one value then it will return 1 even though if it has read 1 2 3 4 5 as it is reading only one value it will still return 1 suppose for example it is reading two variables a and b 5 and 10 respectively then it returns 2 scanf actually returns the number of words that are read successfully and the printf actually returns the length of the output word consider this example here initially the main function call is created let's take a stack the main function call is created and a value a variable a has been declared the value is 10 if we just observe printf is a function call these two are the arguments that it is carrying printf is generally written like this printf percentage d suppose 5 then percentage d specifies it has to find an integer so this will be replaced with 5 and 5 will be printed now this printf is expecting some value to be replaced and the value is present in this location you can just correlate both of these examples and we have seen that printf actually returns something if you remember if you are having a function call and if it has something in return whatever it is return it will be replaced in the place of function call so the value which will be returned by this will be replaced here initially this will be executed it will be printing a new line and it will be printing the value of a the value of a is 10 so 10 will be printed now if you remember the printf actually returns the length of the output word here the output word is having three characters first is a new line character second character third character this is actually replaced with three as we have seen the function call is replaced with the return statement this expects an integer and the integer turns out to be three the output of this will be three If we consider this second printf statement, now it will be more easy for you. Inner printf will be executed first. This will it will actually print a new line character and it will be printing one, two, three, four. What will be the length of this one, two, three, four, five? As the entire new line character will be interpreted as single character. Now five is the length of this and this function call will actually be replaced with five. This is expecting an integer. and a new line is also printed so a new line is printed and then 5 will be printed in this case suppose for example we are having this string over here shyamson so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will return 7 it prints a new line and 7 replaces this integer and 7 will be printed that will be the output of this program this is how the printf statements are interpreted let's try to understand scanf statements similarly here it is taking the input of a let's consider a is an integer and b is a floating point number it is taking the input of a if you give the input as 55 then it will return 1 it is taking the input of these two things if you return 5 and if you return string suppose for example gupta 5 will be taken as integer this cannot be interpreted as an integer so this will not be considered as input the number of values that has been read successfully only one value has been read successfully in this case and one will be returned by this statement in this case it is expecting a integer and a floating point so 5 and 5.0 if these two are given by the user it will successfully read these two values and then two will be printed this is how the printf and scanf can be interpreted i think 